Hey everybody, we're starting a brand new series on the 11th chapter of Romans. It's long been on my heart to go together with you through Romans 11, verse by verse. I'm Ron Cantor from Tiferet Yeshua Congregation right here in Tel Aviv. Stick around till the end. You can find out how to get a free ebook to equip you as a defender of Israel. And before I forget, I want to mention that our brand new book, The Jerusalem Secret, the sequel to Identity Theft, is now out. And you can get it at roncan.net slash tjs book. Those who believe that the church has replaced Israel as God's chosen people and that God no longer has a plan for the Jewish people have a real problem in Romans 11. It seems to mention God's ongoing purpose for Israel, as we'll see in verses 29 and 26, as well as in verses 12 and 15. However, before we get into all that, let's start with a little background. Understanding context can change the entire meaning of a passage. And sadly, more than 99% of the body of believers do not know the historical background behind Paul's motivation in writing the book of Romans. On the one hand, it took a little bit of chutzpah on the part of Paul to pen the epistle. In every other epistle that is addressed to a community, Paul was the spiritual father of that community. He was able to write as a founder, but with Rome, whether birthed by disciples of Paul or Jews who returned from the Shavuot outpouring nearly two decades earlier, he did not have the same relationship or authority. Paul believed in honoring spiritual fatherhood. We do not see an epistle from him to Cyprus, as Barnabas was the apostolic father there. Neither do we see any writings from Paul to Jerusalem or Antioch only to the cities where he had an apostolic authority, except Rome. So our first questions are, why did Paul break his own rule? And what horrible thing was happening in Rome that needed to be addressed so urgently? Rome was home to a sizable Jewish community. Dr. Eli Lizorkin Eisenberg says that Rome itself boasted at least 11 exquisite synagogues. Jews were the only group within the Roman Empire that did not have to worship their Roman gods. Through a special agreement with Rome, they were allowed to worship their one god. Of course, the idea that there was only one god seemed ridiculous to others in the empire, and the Jewish claim that their gods were not gods at all brought obvious contempt. In the year 49 CE, Emperor Claudius acts against the Jews. In his work, The Life of Claudius, Suetonius, the historian, writes, quote, As the Jews were making constant disturbances at the instigation of Crestus, he expelled them from Rome. Now, this Crestus is thought to be a misspelling of Christos, or Christ, the Messiah. Acts 18 backs up the expulsion of the Jews from Rome. Paul left Athens and went to Corinth. There he met a Jew by the name of Aquila, who had recently come from Italy with his wife Priscilla because Claudius ordered all the Jews to leave Rome. So it appears that Jews, Messianic and non-Messianic, were expelled from Rome over the issue of Jesus, possibly fighting over whether or not he is the Messiah. We can only imagine that Claudius, who assumed that he himself was a god, had had enough of these Jews who were not only fighting over the authenticity of Yeshua, but didn't even regard him as a deity. So roughly 40,000 Roman Jews are kicked out of Rome. From this one piece of information, we can learn a lot about the book of Romans, and we're going to take our time in going through this verse by verse. I hope this video has been a blessing to you. To get my free ebook, The 15 Most Important Facts About the Israeli Palestinian Conflict, just go to ronken.net slash 15 facts and make sure that the F is capitalized. This video has been brought to you by our congregation, Tiferet Yeshua, right here in Tel Aviv. For more information, please go to reachtelaviv.org. And while you're there, consider making a donation so that we can continue to share the good news of Yeshua right here in Israel and bring you more of these weekly videos. Now, don't forget to subscribe. Shalom from Tel Aviv.